Hi, everybody. Now let's show you how I place a real short box script in real time and with real demo. So because I need to uh, borrow more money, my previous box spread is expiring. So I'm placing that trait and I'm recording the steps. So first I use this following software on my laptop. So I have a client in TD Ameritrade and I use it's a Thinkorswim desktop client. This software is very easy to use and you are free to pick any software that is easy for you to check the quotes. And then uh, I use Trader's Workstation uh, from Interactive Brokers to place a real trade. So before I do that, first I need to check the today's treasury rate using this URL. So let's do it now. So remember to click apply to make it the current price. And uh, today is uh, December 14th, 2023. And interest rate drops a little bit and there's a big cliff at one year. So I decide to borrow uh, one year, uh, borrow the box and one year expiration. So now, I decided the expiration rate. I need to write down the amount I want to borrow. So today I want to borrow 300,000 US dollars and I could uh, borrow one contract of the box with a strike distance of uh, uh, 3,000 or buy two contracts with strike distance of 1,500 or three contracts with a thousand uh, strike distance. But anyway, let's pick which one is better. So I have this uh, spreadsheet you can uh, clone and for your own use. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Okay. So in this spreadsheet, you can notice different shaded color. Uh, there's gray background and white background. For gray background, it means you need to input it manually. And for the white background, it's formula, it's calculated. There's no reason for you to use it. So this is the notes. Okay, this is a previous trade. Let me copy it and make a new trade. I fix today's date, uh, 12, 14. And then expiration date. Expiration date, I need to pick uh, a year from now. So I go to Think or Swim. Uh, in Think or Swim, I use SPX, which is a good option. And uh, December 20 is the closest. So I pick. December 20th expiration date. Okay, put in December 20th, 24. And there are two choices of strike distance. I don't know which one to use, so I make a copy. Uh, the first one, I want to use uh, 1500 with two contracts. Uh, so two contracts, but then 1500 with two contracts, I can borrow 300K or I can use 3000 with uh, one contract. Okay, so now let's fill in the current price of uh, SPX. Go to single swim, find out 4726, 4727. 4727. And the point of using the current price is I want to pick 
the low strike and upper strike that's equal distance from the current price. And then I round up, round down to P. Uh, I, I round up, round down and uh, pick uh, a whole number because the whole number's options have better look liquidity. So 3977 close to 4,000. This one close to uh, 5,500. And then uh, I'll go to the 3,000 when it'll peak, I'll peak 3,200 and 6,200. Or maybe even 3,000, 6,000. So even better whole number. Okay, so now after I pick that, I need to find out the current price uh, of the box. So let's first use 4,000 and uh, 5,500. Go to single three. Uh, you, you can start with a, a, a random uh, price. I'll pick 4,000. And uh, sell iron condor because iron condor is the closest to box. Now you have four strikes. So top and bottom one should use the lower strike, 4,000, and the medium two ones use a high strike, 5,500. So let's pick that. 4,000, 4,000, and 5,500. So this, the mid price is uh, 14, 25, and 50. 14, 25, and 50. Let me clear this bit out. Change this to one year. One year, because those are the treasury period we are using. And for the treasury rate, remember it's a 4.94. So let's fill that in. 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 4.94, 
insert and this fill price let me fix color okay i will try a few different prices if this is uh 14 26 if it's 14 26 so this is the money you will get 14 26 times 100 uh, with 14 26 the interest rate of is only 0 0.17 above the treasury rate i'm very happy if i can get that fill. so i'll start with this aggressive price uh, 4500 and 14 24 okay let's go to uh, interactive brokers trader workstation uh, now Let's click new window and go to option trader. So with option trader, first you need to make sure you have SPX. If you if not, you click uh, select SPX. And then you go to strategy builder because we have a box strategy and you pick the box spread. Okay, you can cancel that. So this is the box spread. Now pick the expiration date. So those are expiring very quickly. Let's go to the next one. December 24. Here, December 19th. Yeah, 19th or 20th, depending on how you calculate. Okay, now we have calls and puts. And remember, we want we want 4,500, okay? So I'll just uh, click one, two, three, four. So remember the shape, uh, the bid on the lower strike, ask on the higher, higher strike. And uh, for the put, a bid on the high strike, ask on the lower strike. So this is the box. And you can double check by checking this risk graph. If we pick the wrong one, like you pick this one, uh, let me reset. So if you didn't pick the right one, uh, the color, the cut, uh, this red line will not be flat. If you pick the right way, you get a flat line. This means this trade has a guaranteed 100% loss. The loss, the amount of loss is your interest rate. Okay, so now, uh, we need to pick the lower strike to be 4,000. The lower strike and the outside and the middle, uh, a higher strike to be uh, 5,500. So 4,000, let's go to 4,000. And uh, 5500 okay and the price we want is 1426 so limit you type 1426 this is very aggressive not likely to uh, be filled but it's safe to do so double check the line is flat so you're good double check the expiration date the strike okay you're all good so you click transmit and uh, override and transmit okay so you remember the current time Seven nineteen. Actually, you, you put the I you really put put the log here. Fourteen twenty six. Seven nineteen AI. Okay, let let me change the color to black. Reset. So, I set an alarm, and uh, I'll just keep keep doing the log. So, for example, uh, if and uh, 
730 is not filled, I put another price 1425, for example. And 1425 will give me a 0 0.24. It's still acceptable. I remember 730 and keep doing it. So after maybe 10 to 15 minutes, if it's not filled, I give up a little bit. So whenever I give up $1, this is $100 with two contracts is $200. So I will get $200 less. So you don't need to adjust this big. You can adjust like 10 cents. You can adjust down to 25.90, for example. 14.25.90 give you still 0 0.47, very good. So let, let's do that. So 14.25.90. And uh, I click U means update. Okay, it's updating. So this is how you update the price. And uh, uh, you can update it uh, after some time, be patient. Okay, so this is how I place a box treat for real. Thank you.